<sighs> hey, Dwayne, do we have enough money for the movies? No. We would if we were senior citizens. <laughs> they get in for half price. <laughs> well, is it, isn't Rerun considered a senior citizen? He's been a senior at school for three years. <laughs> watch it, Dwayne. Yeah, watch it, Dwayne. Besides, he's not a citizen of the senior class. Right. Just a permanent resident. <laughs> Okay, one hot chocolate and two sodas. Yeah. Hey, Shirley! Don't you hate Shirley me, sucker? <laughs> hey is for horses. I'm sorry. What's for hippopotamuses? <laughs> <laughs> and what is you laughing at? Nothing. What do you want anyway? This hot chocolate isn't hot. Well, you did not order a hot, hot chocolate. You ordered a hot chocolate. And that's <laughs> what you got. You mean if I really want hot, hot cakes, I got to order hot, hot cakes? Now you got it, fool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the lesson, fat, fat girl. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 Who is that chick sitting with Diane? That's Nancy Gordon. She just moved in the neighborhood. Well, I'd like to move into her neighborhood. <laughs> hey, watch it, Rerun. Just watch it. Hey, easy, Dwayne. He was just kidding, Dwayne. Yeah, you really like her, don't you? Uh-huh. Enough to take her out? Uh-huh. Then go over and ask her. Uh-uh. <laughs> do you know her, Raj? I don't know her, but I've seen her. She's in my chemistry class. She'll do great at chemistry. Mm. How do you know? <laughs> she has all the elements. <laughs> hey, just watch it, everyone. Watch it. Hey, Raj, why don't you go over there and drop Dwayne's name on her? Real cool and casually, like only you know how. <laughs> Would you, Raj? Well, I don't know if I should, Dwayne. I mean, you got to learn to do these things for yourself, you know. You're not a little kid anymore. I know. I know, but just this once. This last time. Please. All right. Raj? Yeah? Don't tell her I'm shy. I mean, don't tell her that you're talking to her for me. Just start talking. And like Rerun said, mention me. <laughs> got it? Just be cool. Right. You can start off by not even talking about me at all. Just you know, be cool. Right. Like, say, hi, my name is Roger Thomas. Got it? <laughs> Got it. I'm sorry. Go ahead, but don't forget, be cool. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. Hi, Roger. <laughs> Aren't you gonna sit down, Raj? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you see that move? Yeah. You're practically home, buddy. <laughs> I, well, how is it you happen to know my name? I asked. Mm, smart. <laughs> smart. <laughs> well, what can we do for you, Raj? Um, oh, nothing. I just realized Nancy was a new girl at school, and I thought I'd come over and tell her about some of the nice guys around. Like, um, why did you ask what my name was? Well, I noticed you in class, and you seem like a cool kind of guy, so you are cool, aren't you? Cool? <laughs> you got changed when I was cute. <laughs> Did you see that? You're looking better every minute, Dwayne. Am I really doing good? Fantastic! You know, he's gonna be a really big writer someday. Oh, is that right? Well, yes. I don't know at this point whether I should pursue screenwriting or playwriting. I also dabble in a bit of poetry, too. Oh, dabble for me. <laughs> Ooh, uh, uh, <clears throat> I can't right now. I gotta get back to my friends. 
There it is. He's pointing you out. The time was right. You think so? I know so. <laughs> Um, which is which? Oh, <clears throat> well, Dwayne is the one with the big smile. Uh-huh. <laughs> and Rerun is the one with the big everything else. <laughs> right. <clears throat> well, I guess I better be going now. Oh, well, wait a minute. I just had a super idea. Why don't you drop by my house tonight and you can... Dabble one of your poems for me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I, I can't. I gotta be with my friends. Oh, but I'm your friend. <laughs> what time? Seven. Seven thirty. Seven fifteen. Four. Later, Diane. <laughs> Smile! You're in, Dwayne. I hope he didn't overdo it. Don't worry, you can trust Raj. He knows how to handle it. Come on, buddy. It's Come on, be cool. Shh, shh, be cool. How'd it go, Raj? Great. <laughs> you didn't oversell me, did you? Huh? You didn't oversell me, did you? Oh, 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 no, not at all. <laughs> you held back a little, right? Oh, yeah, I held way back. <laughs> You didn't make me sound silly or nothing. Or nothing. <laughs> Great, I saw you point me out. Oh, did you? What'd you say? I said, uh, that's Dwayne and Rerun. Well, you know, it wouldn't be cool to say that's Dwayne only. <laughs> you are the coolest. <laughs> did you know which one of us was which? Of course. The one with the great smile was Dwayne. Great smile? Did she say that? Yeah, that's what she said. Oh, wow. And then what? Um... Well, then I thought I better uh, uh, underplay it. You know, like you say, be cool. So I didn't seem too pushy. You did the right thing. I told you you could count on Raj. Before, she didn't even know you. Now she knows you as the kid with the great smile. See? She's crazy about you. Yeah! <laughs> What's the next step, Raj? Oh, well... <laughs> yeah, how long should we really be crazy about each other before I talk to her? Well... And maybe even ask her out. Well, I, you know, I don't know. You see, these, uh, these things take time. It could be a month, a week, a day, an hour, even. A day? An hour? Oh, I gotta be ready. Uh, where are you going? <laughs> Home, to make sure I got a clean pair of sneakers. See you later. Okay. Hi, Dwayne. <laughs> No, no, sorry, Rerun. <laughs> moonlight. Your teeth are like moonlight. No, your, your teeth are like moons. <laughs> your teeth... Pearls. Yeah, Pearl got great teeth. <laughs> Hey, Raj, what you doing? Oh, do oh nothing, just a little homework. Uh, where's Dwayne? Cloud nine. Oh, he's really in love, huh? Yeah, he's in bad shape. He sure is. <laughs> in one shot, he lost his heart and his mind. And his best friend. What are you talking about? Well, do you know the story about Miles Standish? The musician? <laughs> That's Miles Davis. Miles Standish was a pilgrim who fell in love with some chick named Priscilla, just like Dwayne. Dwayne's in love with Nancy and some pilgrim chick named Priscilla? <laughs> no, Dwayne's just in love with Nancy. Well, who's in love with Priscilla? <laughs> Miles Standish is in love with Priscilla, but he was too shy. Like Dwayne? Yeah. So he asked his best friend, John, to go over and fix things up between him and Priscilla. Like you! 
Right. So John went over and he talked to Priscilla. Like Nancy! That's it. So John and Priscilla fell in love and poor little Miles Standish was left out all alone out in the cold. <laughs> in his little white sneakers yeah. and his big dumb smile you got it and i'm not crazy about a bit of it <coughs> me neither the moon is a strange thing you only see it at night but it's there in the daytime. It just stays out of sight. But you're not a strange thing. Because day and night, whenever I see you, you're still out of sight. Dumb, dumb, dumb. <laughs> really dumb. What are you doing here? Listening to stupid poems. <laughs> well, get back upstairs and do your homework. The reason you can't see the moon here in the daytime is because when it's daytime here, it's nighttime in China, and the moon is over there. <laughs> and any fool knows you can't see China from Watts. <laughs> wow. How would you like to see the stars from the palm of my hand? Are you going to read those dumb poems to that new girl, Nancy? How do you know about Nancy? Diane told me you sat with them this afternoon and... <laughs> Uh-oh. What? Something's burning. Well, go... go look in the kitchen. It's not in the kitchen. It's in here. <laughs> Will you get away from me? Roger, I'm telling you, you burning and I can smell it. <laughs> and you got a burnt something. I don't have a burnt anything. What you smell is my new cologne, Hickory Chip. <laughs> it has the scent of a warm low fire and the aroma of autumn. Yeah, let me smell it again. I don't care what you say. I think mama burnt your underwear in the dryer. Vanish! <coughs> oh. <laughs> Friends, a boy can love his pop, a pig can love his slop. <laughs> A man can love a woman to the end, but when all is said and done, there's no better love than one. It's the love between a buddy and his friend. Some friend. Hi, Raj. Oh, hi, Mama. What's the matter with you? Mama, I stink. Oh, I know, it's that dry again. <laughs> no. It's not the dryer, it's my cologne. But, Mom, I did a terrible thing to Dwayne. Well, I find that hard to believe. Believe it, Mama, believe it. Hi, Dee. What did you do? He stole Dwayne's girlfriend, and he says he stinks because he does. But it's none of my business, so I'll just stay out of it. Is this true, Roger? I couldn't help it, Mama. It was like love at first sight. Didn't that ever happen to you? No way. Nobody can get me all in, in one sight. <laughs> <laughs> but, Mama, see, we got this date tonight, and what should I do? Well, I'm going to leave that up to you. And I got a feeling you're not as much in love as you think you are. But if you want to break that date and save Dwayne's feelings, you'll get over it soon enough. Oh, but she's so pretty, Mama. There you go again. 
Love is not only a pretty face and a sweet voice and a lovely figure, you know. So she isn't rich. <laughs> a hard head makes a soft behind. And I see you're going to have to learn it for yourself. The hard way. Well, what are you going to do, Raj? You have got a big nose. That's how I know your underpants are burnt. Hi, D. Where's Raj? Hi, Raj. Hey, hey, what's happening? Well, I got to thinking about what you said. You know about me being old enough to do things myself? And since you said she likes me and my great smile and all, well, I decided to drop by her house tonight and welcome her to the neighborhood. Son of a gun. <laughs> well, well, what do you think, Raj? Well? Go in the kitchen and say hello to Mama. OK. Wait till you smell his underpants, Dwayne. <laughs> How come you all dressed up, Raj? Dressed up? <laughs> I think I better tell you. I'm going over to Nancy's house. Huh? I said I'm going over to Nancy's I, house. I heard that, Raj. Oh, did you? I didn't know if you... You see, when I said it, you said, huh? So I said it again. Because <laughs> I didn't think you heard me when I said it. Because you said, huh? <laughs> so I said it again. Why are you going over to Nancy's house? Huh? I said... <laughs> And listen, I said, why are you going over there? I heard you, Dwayne. <laughs> You're supposed to be helping me. But, but what happened to the master plan? <laughs> that is my master plan. So you have to do these things step by step. I only mentioned you this afternoon, but tonight... Oh, right, right. So you were going over there to tell her more things about me. That's why you held back today. You said it. Roger, you're the best friend a guy could ever have. Nah. Yes, you are. What was that poem you once wrote about friends? <clears throat> a boy can love his pop. A pig can love his slop. <laughs> pop and slop. Oh, that's beautiful. That says it all. Hey, Rira. How you doing? Why are you all dressed up? Oh, I was going over to Nancy's house. Tonight? Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to go tonight. Well, I did, but I don't now. And how you know I didn't want to go over there now anyway? Oh, I just guess. I stopped by Roger's house first, you know, to tell him I was going there, and I found out he's gone. You found out? <laughs> he told you? Yeah, he told me. Everything? Right. How could he do that? What? Rub it in. It's, it's bad enough he's in love with her, but to come right out and tell you. <laughs> no, maybe that is the best thing. Maybe that is right. What are you talking about? I think Roger's is right. It's better that he told you that he and Nancy were having a thing. It sure is better to hear from Raj than to hear from some big mouth gossipy fool. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> oh, boy. Ah, not this time. Hey, Dwayne, Dwayne. They ain't gonna get me. <laughs> but you're not a strange thing. Because day and night, whenever I see you, you're still out of sight. That's beautiful. That's Dwayne. He's written a lot of poems like that since he saw you this afternoon. That's just one of them. I, I never guessed he could be so romantic. He looks so shy with that big, dumb smile. <laughs> That's the charm of him. All the girls at school are crazy about Dwayne. Uh -huh. He's gentle, he's quiet, uh -huh. shy. Uh -huh. There you are, you lousy, rotten, double-crossed, and no-good rat. <laughs> See? <laughs> Is this your idea of sensitivity and warmth? Well, he's just a little bit... Oh, uh, wait. He comes busting into my house, 
shooting off his big mouth. And all night you've been telling me what a cool and wonderful guy he is? Huh? <laughs> you know, you really are a bummer. I mean, first you lead me on. And then you try to push me off on this, this, this big mouth nothing. Nothing? Nothing? <laughs> well, maybe you forgot about this. I'm gonna be sick. Get out of here. And I don't want to see either one of you again, ever. Hmm. Well, that's all right with me. Me too. Thanks, Raj. It's all right, buddy. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Guys are crude. <laughs> now take me for instance. I got class. I happen to be a combination of Harry Belafonte, Sidney Poitier, and Billy D. Williams all rolled up into one. Well, as long as you're all rolled up, roll out. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> You're looking for trouble, Dwayne. <laughs> What's so funny? We all went bowling, and on rerun's first ball, he slipped and fell, and the vibrations knocked all ten pins. <laughs> I thought you were going to that Nancy's house. <sighs> yeah, we went there first, but she threw us out. So we decided to spend a night out together. That's right. No dumb girls, just guys. That's right. Me and my two buddies, Rerun and Dwayne. Like the three musketeers. Yeah, Mo, Larry, and Curly. <laughs> no, that's the three stooges. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Yeah, it is the right house. Yeah, they're all here. I'll tell them. Okay. Who was it? It was Nancy. She felt bad and she wants to apologize to the cute one. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. She said cute, not shy. <laughs> you guys are all wrong. <laughs> I'm sure she meant me. <laughs> I can tell by her look. <laughs> Back off! Hello? Oh, hi, Mary Lou. Yeah, I'm sorry I hung up. It was just a joke on Raj. 